Hey everybody, welcome back to Movies with Mia. If you're new to the channel, hi! I'm Mia Tiffany, and here we are watching the greatest classic films throughout history. Today, we are starting a new series on the channel. We are going to be taking a look at your most requested movies, and we are starting with the film Heaven Knows, Mr. Allison. Now, before we get into the video, I would like to shout out my Golden Oscar patrons. Guys, thank you so much for your continued support of the channel. And if you're interested in becoming an exclusive VIP Tiffany Club member, then I highly encourage you to check out that Patreon link, which is in the description box below. And a very, very special shout out to Catherine LW for requesting this film. Catherine, thank you so much for your support, and I dedicate today's video to you. Heaven Knows Mr. Allison was released in 1957, directed by John Huston, starring Robert Mitchum and Deborah Carr. And that's it. Literally, they're the only two names that are billed in this movie. All right, guys, so at this point we are going to get into some historical background for those of you who want to jump right onto the film reaction go for it but for those of you who want to stay we're gonna get right into it so heaven knows mr. Allison originated as a novel written by Charles Shaw in 1952 now in July of that year Eugene Frankie obtained the rights to Shaw's novel and was keen on making it into a movie Frankie briefly lost the rights to Shaw's novel but later reobtained it and started making negotiations with various studios to produce it in the summer of 1950 it was announced that 20th Century Fox purchased the rights to the novel with the intention of it becoming a vehicle for Clark Gable and with William Wyler sitting in the director's chair. Wyler eventually lost interest in directing the film and the original plot to cast Clark Gable in the leading role was nixed for whatever reason. I couldn't find why they decided not to go through with that. And so in 1956, John Huston joined the project and with him came John Lee Mahine, who was a screenwriter at the time. Now the men had to solve this very complicated issue of creating an adequate screenplay that would satisfy the censors, the church, and the United States Marine Corps, while also making it enjoyable for audiences, which sounds like just a bunch of, woo, I don't even know. <laughs> but somehow they were able to successfully create a screenplay that satisfied all fronts and began production in August of 1956. Heaven Knows Mr. Ellison went on to be nominated for two Oscars at the 30th Academy Awards in 1958. All right, guys, on to some interesting facts. So Heaven Knows Mr. Ellison was filmed on location in Tobago. Now it was decided to set the filming location in Tobago because at the time, Trinidad and Tobago were under the jurisdiction of the British government. This allowed Houston and 20th Century Fox to obtain funds and financing from Great Britain. Now, Robert Mitchum, who had just wrapped production on the film Fire Down Below, which was also filmed in Trinidad and Tobago, was only given three weeks notice before he had to return to Trinidad and Tobago to film this project. But despite short notice, he was very enthusiastic about his role. He and Houston got along really well on set, but it was actually Deborah Carr who he found kinship in. The on-screen chemistry that they had was fueled heavily by their off-screen platonic relationship that they had developed. Mitchum would later go on to say that Carr was, quote, the only leading lady I didn't go to bed with, end quote. Now, with all that being said, I am so excited to get into this, but before we do, y'all know the deal. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification to stay in the loop. All right, everyone, it is time to grab your snacks, grab your drinks, get cozy, and let's get in to Heaven Knows Mr. Allison. I think this is my second Robert Mitchum film and my third Deborah Carr film, if, if, I'm, if I'm keeping my tabs correct. So excited to see this one. I heard that this is one of Robert Mitchum's best performances. So I guess I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> 1944, somewhere in the South Pacific. I kind of like that they utilize the shakiness of the camera there. Makes you feel a slightly disoriented as, a, as an audience member, which is probably to match what the character is feeling as well. Man, is that water even clean? He doesn't care. He's like, I just need something to drink. Oh, someone's definitely been there. Okay, obviously now. Looks like a little, like a little community of people, but for some reason it's evacuated or something. Abandoned is the word I was looking for. 
to speak English? You're an American. Have the Americans. No, no, no. Just me. All right, where are the rest of you? There is no one else here. Houston had the first, like, five to seven minutes without dialogue. It's nice to kind of have that silence to really immerse yourself into, you know, their world. You're a nun, ain't you, man? I'm Sister Angela. I better transfer out of the sun, man. You here okay? Yes. Everything's pitching like I'm still on draft. I better lie down before I fall down. Mm-hmm. Get you some water, a nice nap, maybe some food. I can't believe she's been on the island by herself for Lord knows how long. You okay? I'm in no danger of any kind. I was supposed to have a blackout. I'm sorry, mister. Corporate Owls and U.S. Marines. Oh my gosh. That was like, he was like quick to turn those lights off. Like, you better turn them off. How about seconds, man? There isn't any more. Fine guy that makes me taking food out of a woman's mouth. I don't suppose there'd be any uh, cigarettes around, huh? No. Well, I wouldn't do for a smoke. I will say that I do like the dichotomy between Mr. Allison's ruggedness versus her more like demure presence. It, it really does add a lot of texture to their interaction. Who belongs to this? It was Father Phillips' pipe. He's buried down there. The last few days were too much for him. So she came with him, but why is the question? If there's nobody there. Our instructions were to close the mission and go to Fiji, but Father Phillips wouldn't leave without Father John Ryan. Why don't you go to Fiji with the others? Father Phillips was too old to make the voyage alone. And she wanted to stay with him. Oh, so, the, the, so she was on like a rescue mission. We landed here four days ago. No one was here. Father Phillips went all about the island calling Father Ryan. We climbed up the hill, and when we got to the top, we saw our boat sailing off. Oh, so he died and just left her there. No, I mean, not like he, not like he was trying to leave her there. I mean, he died, but. It's tough, man. Well, I'm sure it's nothing to what you have been through, Mr. Allison. We was on a sub. Suddenly a light hits us. It's like the whole ocean is exploding. Wow. They've both been through so much trauma. Something that they can bond on later on. <laughs> Thank God you were spared, Mr. Allison. Same goes for you, man. Well, I think I'll get a little rest now. Good night, Mr. Allison. I don't know. I kind of like the fact that he's tall. Stop. <laughs> At least they have each other. Now they can work together to kind of survive here. That should do us, Mr. Allison. I see some bamboo over there. I'm gonna go cut me a spear and spear some fish. The fact that they're stationary on this island kind of gives you more of a feeling of like what happens next. Like, are they gonna get off this island? You know, where is the adventure gonna spring from? Oh, sounds like a wild boar to me. Oh no, 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 tiny spaces don't work for me. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. it's a nice little, a little nook, a little nature nook. I see wild boars and I immediately think of Lord of the Flies. That book is crazy. Look at the turtle, Mr. Allison. Sonny himself. Why, it sure is, man. Come on, man. I like how the the score kind of takes on a life of its own here. It's very much being used to kind of obviously help the audience along, but it has life of its own. I'm gonna catch that turtle, man. I'm gonna need your help. All right now, man, together. One, two, three. Oh, they're almost, they're almost to the little turtle. Is that what it is, a turtle? Oh my God, and they get to do all these like real life stunts. It's a big turtle. Just like taking candy from a baby. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, no way, I don't believe it. There is no way that tortoise had that much pull. He was like thrusted into the water. <laughs> you should just let go and breathe air before he drowns. He's like, help me, please. <laughs> She's like pulling him up by his neck. <laughs> oh my God. What a fun little adventure that was. Turtle meat's kind of sticky, huh? But it's good. Ooh, it's delicious. How far do you figure it is to Fiji, man? Why, Mr. Allison? I was thinking, trying to sail down there in a raft. I like how he calls her ma'am. Has those gentleman manners of the olden days. I couldn't ask you to go and I wouldn't leave you here, so uh, let's forget all about it. What if I myself would like to try, Mr. Allison? I'd say you was crazy too, man. Oh, now they're gonna make this a raft. I mean, me personally, I would stay on the island. Cause I mean, you got all the food you want. There's nobody around. It's like paradise. I sure hope you like fish, ma'am. I'm sure I'll get used to it. What church did your parents raise you in? I was an orphanage kid. There I was at the Allison Street entrance one morning in an empty egg crate. Oh, Allison Street. That's probably why he took on the last name Allison. But I broke out of there when I was 14. Next few years, I seen the insides of more jails than I did churches. Then I joined the Marines. Now you look at me, ma'am. All through me, a Marine. 
their dialogue is very geared towards appreciation of the Marine Corps and also appreciation of the church. And I feel like they just highlighted those two bigger themes to fit the, the censorships of the day. I never thought there were any pretty nuns either. You should have seen Sister Mary Fidelis. She was a model before she joined the community. Well, what does she want to be a nun for? Because it gave her greater happiness than anything else. I feel like this whole scene was added in just to satisfy the church, the United States Marine Corps, and the censors. Do you think they saw me? Can't tell. Why, I'm sorry, Mr. Allison. I'm really liking the, uh, the scruff on Mitchum, okay? I don't know why I'm fangirling right now, I'm sorry. You know, the other day when we was up there, I spotted a cave. Well, this isn't too bad, is it? It's a very pleasant cave, indeed. Guess I'll climb into the rack. Climb? You know, go to sleep. Good night, ma'am. Good night, Mr. Allison. He literally looks like he's, like, he's at a decline, trying to lay down. That looks so uncomfortable. But I mean, I guess desperate times, right? Bless old Lord, the rest I'm about to take to repair my strength. What, ma'am? All my life long, particularly the hour of my death. Amen. I was saying my prayers. She's praying, honey. <laughs> what, ma'am? <laughs> do you never say yours, Mr. Allison? No, ma'am. You do believe in God the Father? Oh, sure. Anybody with any sense believes in God. <laughs> the dialogue is just beautiful. Oh, my God. They're back, ma'am. You better take it easy. What I mean, brace yourself. But don't be scared. The noise is going to be fierce. I like that she's okay with, like, kind of enduring instead of, you know, getting scared and being like, oh my gosh. She's like, at the end of the day, I need to endure. And you feel that in her character. You're really bombing them. On a side note, I wonder how many times they had to shoot it. Probably once, because it's probably expensive. All right. Truly. The noise can't hurt us, man. Oh, and he's comforting her. Stop, that's so sweet. They're gone. It's all over, man. We're okay. Thank God there was no one out there to be killed. Oh, their raft that they were building was bombed. Darn it. Everything they could have used to make that raft is now destroyed. So what is their next step is the question. Thought you might want that, man. This island sure beat up, huh? A trip to Fiji's off, man. I was just about to say things couldn't look blacker when all of a sudden they do. Hey, the cross endured. That's gotta, that's gotta mean some sort of, you know, message. Nuh-uh. Come on, dude. Oh my god, they're coming. They're coming to the freaking island. Oh my god. You better make that freaking that freaking cave your safe haven. The extras that they used to portray the Japanese soldiers, many of them were actually made up of Japanese people living in Brazil. I just thought that was fascinating. When they find nothing, will they leave, do you think? From all the stuff they're bringing ashore, I'd say they was gonna make this a weather station. We better crawl back in our hole, man. Like there's... <laughs> There's literally no one on the island. What are you shooting at? You're like shooting trees and, and wood. <laughs> There's nothing there. You've had your last look at the outside for a pretty long time. With that uh, white nun's dress, you won't dare stick your nose outside. I'm gonna ask you to sit down and be real quiet. Those, her nun's like habit and clothes look really comfortable though. Looks like some nice, comfortable, like breathable cotton. <laughs> Not shooting at anything, just making a bunch of noise and anxiety. What is a knife gonna do when they have freaking guns pointed at you? They should like close the opening of their little enclosure, their cave. You can talk now, ma'am, if you want to. I'm going to turn myself over to the Japanese. Why? Turn yourself over. Alone, you might be able to survive, but not with me to feed, too. Is she crazy? No, baby, you're staying here. Look, for the sake of my morale, ma'am, let's uh. Let's not have any more talk like that. Huh? Let's not have that conversation ever again. Oh, the intensity of the score. Ooh, he got a fish. I see you, boo. Uh oh. Get back in your cave, baby boy. Get back in your cave. Oh my god, that scared me. That water got so high above him. He's being smashed against those rocks. Maybe not like, you know, obviously not hard, but still, cannot be easy. Please try, man. One, into the mouth. Two, chew twice. Three, swallow. Chew twice? <laughs> I'd have to chew like four times. It's probably not tasty, that's why you gotta chew it quick and down the gall. Desperate times. Sorry, Mr. Allison. I... Uh oh, oh, she's gonna let it all out. He is very protective over her. And 
It just, it's really romantic. I wonder if he's gonna try and steal like food from them. Oh man, slowly, slowly now. We're just having a nice little time, you know? Dancing, about to steal all that food. And guess who he's doing it for? He's doing it for her. It's like, it's like romantic. I don't know, is that just me? Oh my God. He's shining all those shoes too, he's gonna be there for a minute. For my Japanese speakers out there, I wonder if these extras have an accent to you, like a Brazilian accent on top of their Japanese. If you can hear it, let me know, because that would be so interesting. <laughs> oh my God, they're just gonna stay there. Oh my God, how long are they gonna be there for? Oh, they're playing a game, checkers. There has to be another word for that. What, what is the name of that? I don't know what it's called. Oh my God, and she's freaking alone. I hope that she doesn't go venturing out looking for him. That's what I hope doesn't happen. But I feel like it's gonna happen, right? Mr. Addison. Mr. Addison isn't there. Oh my god. I win. I wonder if their lines were ad-libbed or if they were scripted. Probably were scripted. But it, it the way that they're delivering the lines makes me feel like they were ad-libbed. That's a big freaking rodent, bro. Get away from me. You're making too much freaking sound with your movement. He's gonna go into his pant leg, don't. Oh no. Relax, relax, relax. Don't make any sound. Relief. <laughs> and off they go. You gotta be quick, sir. You gotta be real quick. I swear. And of course they're in a freaking shack made of wood. So it's just all the noises. Oh my gosh, it's daytime now. How is he gonna blend in? Oh my god, he's just in broad daylight, like. I love the first person shots where we're kind of like, the audience is situated with him. So it, it almost feels like we're experiencing this with him. They're headed in his freaking direction. Where are they going? Who are you shooting at? Sister, if you don't get back in that freaking cave, you're literally like standing out like a sore thumb. Just go back in the cave. Oh, they, they caught a boar. The fact that he was able to make it out is amazing. Only in movies. Only in freaking Hollywood. You're alive. Oh, you're alive. Of course, they're alive and kicking. Oh, no. I'm very put out with you. I thought they'd kill you. Inside you go. I got something to show you. Now, no more crying, ma'am. He is being so nice. I've been yelling at her like, why are you out of the cave? Get back in the cave! Got you we food. got food. Lots of it. I woke up and you weren't there. You'll never go again without telling me. Promise me now, promise. She cares for him. She's like, so help me. Do not ever scare me like that again. <laughs> what a beautiful flower. Is it a comb? That's really sweet the way he packaged it too. Oh. It's beautiful, Mr. Allison. There's sort of this beautiful marriage in his character where you have a little bit of ruggedness, but a lot of tenderness, especially when it comes to Deborah Carr's character. You really like it, ma'am? Oh, oh yes, but our hair is oh. worn very short. Shows how dumb I am. May I have it for a keepsake? Sure. I love that, how thoughtful. I'm kind of falling for him. <laughs> Suppose a nun changed her mind. You know, she didn't want to be a nun anymore. Oh, we're having that conversation now. I was wondering that too, as I'm watching this. Well, it has happened, but rarely. His holiness in Rome sometimes grants a special dispensation. Without that, it'd be like a Marines going over the hill, huh? We would lose our immortal souls. So you have to request permission to leave. But hearts can change, right? But such a thing is inconceivable, you see. We have five years, and only then do we take our final vows. I wish to have taken mine next month. You, you still could, like, uh, pull out? Pull out?! <laughs> You haven't taken your final vows yet. If my mind and my heart were not made up. Are they beckoning them? Are they telling them to leave? Oh, maybe that it's their it's it's their army. Battle wagon slugging it out. Like having two dollar seats to a Joe Lewis fight, ain't it? Just too far away to see anything. Two dollar seats to a Joe Lewis fight. <laughs> I love that analogy. Like they're in the nosebleeds. Hey, ma'am! They've gone! Come on out! Oh, they left! Yes, they've really gone! You can shout if you want to! Ah!
Mm, I don't believe it. Oh, I don't know. I feel like they're not out of they're not out of rough waters yet. We left all kinds of stuff here, ma'am. Pretty, you know how I'd like to start by washing my clothes and getting clean again. <laughs> yes, that would be a great place to start. Oh no, he's shaving his gorgeous beard. Some moon, ain't it, ma'am? Things are just as bright as day, almost. It's a lovely moon. Dun, da, 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 dun, da, da. I love the way that they they do moonlight in movies. Do you know the words, Miss Allison? Don't sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me. I come marching home. Oh. Okay, boo boo, I hear you got a little little voice, okay. Or that little trill. Isn't there someone back home waiting for you, Mr. Allison? No, ma'am. Ma'am, there's something I'd like to say to you. Say yes, it to me, baby. You know them big red flowers? Hi, biscuits. If you like, I'll pick some for you. Oh, he likes her. <laughs> he is so different. Very different male character that I'm used to, and I love it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'll take those vows. I never loved anything or anybody before, so that's why I want to ask you to marry me. What? <laughs> I would have freaking melted right there. I would have been like, I'm yours forever. Tell me if there's a chance, huh? No, Mr. Allison. Oh. You see, I've already given my heart to Christ our Lord. I respect that. I respect that. But at the same time, honey, I will take him off your hands, boo boo, okay? You mean like you was engaged or something? Yes. And when I make my final vows, I'll wear a marriage ring. I don't know what's set up like that because I didn't have no right to speak. Did I? Mr. Allison. Oh, and he's like hurt. Who wrote this? John Houston wrote this. I'm like sweating. Oh my God. What is this movie? I must have went off my rocker last night. A Marine ought to get married. Oh. What have we got to get the short end? He's like trying to hide the fact that he was hurt by her rejection. Which is better, a dead husband or a bad Marine? He ends up both better, you know, that he ain't tied down like, forget I opened my big mouth. No, I couldn't forget that because now I'm freaking in love with you. Girl, I would be reconsidering my choices in life. <laughs> like, am I sure that I want to commit to this? Look, Mr. Allison, what I found in the rice sack. I wonder what it could be. That's a sake, kind of a Japanese drink. Do you have one with me? Perhaps, just a small one. Oh my god, she's drinking? <laughs> what? Oh. Is it warm? Mr. Allison, don't you think you, you've had enough sake? Oh man. Don't sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me. I would not be doing that around, especially around this time. Because you don't know if they're coming back. You need to be, like, aware. What you want to be a nun for? It's old Allison's luck. You have to be a nun. Why aren't you old and ugly? I think I've mastered this. <laughs> It's like, no, 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 I'm not done with the sake. Why do you have to have big blue eyes and a beautiful smile and freckles? I think I'll say goodnight. Hmm. I feel like she's gonna have a change of heart. I mean, come on. I know I would. I would have been like, you know, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> now what's the point of being a nun if we're all alone? What would you do all day, pray? I can see that. This island, all we got is it and each other. Hmm, you're gonna make her unhappy. I definitely understand where he's coming from, but I understand where she's coming from too. She's like, get off of me. Oh my god, what is she doing? Don't run. Do you hear me, ma'am? Where are you, ma'am? Oh no, I hope she didn't like develop a fever or something. It's the last thing we need. I didn't mean what I said. Is she gonna die? Because if she dies, I'm done. Oh, they're coming back! I told you! What did I say? Oh my god, she looks pale and it's not like they have a like readily available medical care oh my gosh it's like a whole colony oh no don't take off your shirt i'm trying not to fall in love with you jeez oh that's so sweet oh now he's shirtless what why not <laughs> but he is also way more exposed now God, I just don't want him to die. I just don't want him to die. They cannot put me through that. I, I don't think I will be able to handle it. He's taking sheets for her, this man. Don't say anything, just let him go. Let him go, he's not hurting you. Dang, poor guy. All he was doing is trying to go into the little tent and get something. Lost his life for it. He's like, I have sheets for you. He's taking off her habit. Oh my God, that's like a bad question mark. Man, we gotta get them wet clothes off you. You gotta help me, man. He must be exhausted. She better? Did the fever break? Mr. Allison? Oh my god, she's okay. She made it through! I love her red hair. Aww. What's happened? You've been sick, ma'am. 
How sorry? Three days now. You, you've been uh, out of your head. Why are we in the cave? The Japanese have come back. Like I said, but nobody listens to Mia. Everyone wants to do their own thing. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Addison. My fault you got sick. I was running from the truth. We're living from hour to hour. Only he knows what'll happen to us. Oh, what is burning? Just killing all the lush greenery. What are we doing? Oh, geez, what if they're burning down this, the forest to find them? That would be terrifying. Must have found the body. What body? The one got his throat cut. You killed a man? I had to. It was a case of had to, man. He come at me. I have to do a fast turn outside, lose him and double back here. Now you just sit tight. I feel like the stakes are so much higher than they were in The African Queen. Maybe because the war was is so much fresher in people's minds, World War II at this point. So the stakes just feel so much higher. Come out, do the hands up. Okay, Joe. You get grenade? You alright, ma'am? That was a grenade. The bomb, bomb's falling. Oh, what if it's the Americans? Oh my god! Freaking talk about freaking timing! That's a stop the heat! And they're here with my guy! They got a lens and more stack it up! They survived through it all on this island. Ma'am, you remember saying God might tell us what's going to happen? Well, what is he saying? He's saying this air landing is going to be real easy. Like. Really? That's awesome. All it needs is for them 105s to get put out of commission. I'm all like, and like replying to him like I'm in the movie. Oh my God. What am I doing? And is there a way to do that? He just told me the way. Are you sure it's God you're obeying? Pretty sure, ma'am. Then he'll protect you. And I hope he protects him because Lord, I need to see him make it to the end of this movie. Please be careful. Oh, he's sabotaging the guns. That's what he's doing. Every single time he like nose dives, I'm like nervous. I'm, like, did, did he get shot? Like, what's going on? Is he shot? Oh no. No, 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 I don't believe it. No, I don't believe it. No. Why did they start playing the music when he fell? Stop. No. Oh my god, he was shot. <laughs> Tis but a scratch. It is a flesh wound. I refuse to believe. That he was gravely injured. She's just out in the open. A mission accomplished. I ain't killed nothing. Oh, lie down, Mr. Allison. Please don't die. Please don't die, Mr. Allison. Please don't die, Mr. Allison. Is that why it's called Heaven Knows, Mr. Allison? We'll never be just the two of us again, so I'd like to say this now. Very pleased to have met you, man. I wish you every, every happiness. How does that not melt your heart? I love me some Jesus, okay? I love Jesus. But this man is like pouring his soul out to you, okay? I'm not telling you to not be a nun. Do what you have to do. Do what you feel is right in your heart. But if it was me, I tell you what, I would not be taking those vows. Goodbye, Mr. Allison. No matter how many miles apart we are, you will be my dear companion always. With a cigarette in his mouth. Amen. <laughs> Love it. Off they go. He's gonna be fine though. I feel like it was just a flesh wound. Oh, heaven knows, Mr. Allison. What a fantastically done film. I feel like they could have done so much more in terms of the romance and just like cultivating that and letting that be the central story. It was still, for its time, it was it was so well done. But I wish that they had more more wiggle room to kind of show more of their romance because it could have been just so gushy and perfect. What I love about this film though, right off the bat was Mr. Allison. His character is something that I was not expecting because usually I think of like male characters in this time and the first person I'm thinking of is like John Wayne, machismo, just gotta show all this power and this strength as a man. But there was something about Mr. Allison. He was very still very rugged, very strong, very protective, but there was a tenderness to him that was so, like, made me fall in love with him, you know? Like, if I were freaking the sister in this situation, I would have been like, I love you, Lord, but please let me have this man, <laughs> because he was so tender, and he took care of her, and he didn't raise his voice, and he didn't, like, puff up his chest and say, I'm, I'm here, like, see me. It was like, so tender and it was so easy to fall in love with his character and Robert Mitchum did like so beautiful conveying that story it, I mean he was like amazing not to mention perfectly tanned gorgeously toned oh and the freaking beard I couldn't okay I was done 
Um, and then Deborah Carr, she is just a phenomenal actress, such a wide range of acting and what she brought to the character of the sister. She was very, a woman of her faith, um, very demure, but there was an endurance to her. She endured through everything that was thrown at her, regardless of if she was afraid, no matter what was thrown at her, she endured. And it really complemented Mr. Allison's character. It, they they worked together like peanut butter and jelly. It was perfect. Like acting was stellar. Scenery and cinematography was stellar. And the freaking screenplay. I don't know how, how they were able to create the screenplay amidst all of these censorships with the Hayes Code and appeasing the church and um, showing honor to the, to the United States Marine Corps, all of these things that they had to overcome. And they did it. And they made a really good film. Yeah, that's, yeah, it was fantastic. So thank you so much to Catherine LW for recommending it. And thank you guys so much for watching it with me. All right, everyone, that does it for this video. As always, if you liked it as much as I did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you would like to become an official Tiffany Club member, then I highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification to stay in the loop. Once again, I would like to thank Catherine LW for requesting this movie. If you want to see this film's full reaction, you will find it on my Patreon, as well as our FlickPick polls, which allow you to vote for future videos, and our MWM live streams, where every other week we come together as the Tiffany Clubbers that we are, and we sit down and we watch one classic film live via Zoom. If that's something that sounds of interest to you, then go ahead and check out that Patreon link, which is in the description box below. In the next video, we are continuing with your most requested films and we are going to be revisiting Akira Kurosawa. I am so excited guys. We are going to be watching the film Yojimbo. If you haven't seen Yojimbo, I highly encourage you to check it out before watching the reaction. If you want to grab a physical copy of Yojimbo, I did provide links down in the description box below of where I bought my physical copy as well as where you can stream it online. If you have a recommendation for any classic Hollywood films, head on over to my website, www.miatiffany.com. Scroll all the way down and you will see our new recommendation form. Drop all of your recommendations there. I didn't have a burning question today, but if you want to ask me a burning question, let me know down in the comments. And please feel free to DM me on Instagram and Twitter. My handle is at Mamma Mia Tiffany. Also, I'm available on email. My email is miawilliams642 at gmail.com. And I will choose one of your questions to answer and give you a little shout out here at the end as always guys this is such a pleasure thank you so much for watching please stay safe and healthy out there and i will see all of you in the next video bye everyone and we are starting with the film heaven knows mr allison <laughs> mr allison heaven knows mr allison was <laughs> i don't know why i'm forgetting these lines there i do it every time now in the summer of 1954 it was announced that 20th century fox obtained the retina nope, purchased okay it was announced that 20th century fox ob uh, purchased not obtained purchased jeez so weiler <laughs> Oh my God, stop. Usually you guys only see about like this much of my face and I edited the, our last video. I think it was our Sherlock video. And I noticed how close I was to the camera and I'm like, girl, you gotta scoop back, okay? <laughs> I was way too close. If you have a rec try it again. <laughs> if you do want to ask me a burning question, go ahead and let me know down in the down in the description box. I just love saying that. No, I love doing these, man. These are so much fun. Huh. <laughs>